I'm still Doris Mary Ann Kapelhoff from Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh, from a, a lovely family, and all I ever wanted was to get married, have a nice husband, and have maybe two or three children, and, and keep house and cook, keep the house nice and clean, and, and live happily ever after. And I ended up in Hollywood. And if I can do it, you can do it. Anybody can. My mom lived here, 56 to 81. She bought it because she loved the garden. That was the whole deal. You know, just loved the garden. Didn't care about the house too much. And there were interesting characters around this house. For dinner, Clark Gable, Jimmy Cagney, Judy Garland, Billy Wilder, Needless to say, Rock Hudson was here all the time. We used to see her riding her bicycle down to the bakery in Beverly Hills, you know, and all the people and the shopkeepers and everything. There comes Doris Day on her bicycle. She was cycling through Beverly Hills, and I said, Doris Day, I almost fainted. Then it got to a point one day when the Beverly Hills Police Department said, we just don't feel that we're able to adequately protect you on your bicycle. Plus, the lady next door was suing her for having too many animals. And she filed a lawsuit. She said, you have too many animals over there. And she was really shocked by that. And that's when she moved to Carmel. She moves on, you know that expression? Move on? She's really good at moving on. Initial outline for today's program. I was not going to ask you anything personal, but I'm going to make an exception. What can we expect from Doris Day in the future? Oh, well, probably lots of things, because I'm a late bloomer. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I do everything late. It's very interesting. I've always been that way. Um, I've grown up very late in life. Sometimes I still think I'm about 12. Not weird. But it's it's funny. That's the way things happen with me. Yeah. Now, when I finished my television series, I didn't retire. I never, ever said that I was going to retire. Oh, but that's what the word was. Well, no. I guess maybe it was because I wasn't working. But that was of my own choosing. I, I was kind of um, wanting to just not do anything at that time. But you were... the series is so hard. Yeah, I know. But you were also... It drains you. You, you know? were... Yeah, I know that. But and you were that, all, you were also doing something for pets. Oh, that's right. Working very hard with animals. Yeah. But um, I just wanted to not be thinking about myself and how I was looking and my hair okay and what am I going to wear and things like that. I just wanted to kind of... Sort of like the hell with it. the roses. Yeah, the I hell with it. There's this odd suspicion that Doris is a recluse. Maybe they have some strange picture of a of this bag woman picking up something at, at, behind a shrub. I mean, it's it's just so not her. She's just reveling in her life up there. She found this beautiful piece of property on a bluff overlooking Carmel Valley, and now she just got a gorgeous estate, flower beds all over, massive oaks a meadow to run her dogs, and it's just a gorgeous piece of ground. Doris is my neighbor uh, these days. She lives uh, in Carmel Valley. I live down in Carmel, and I see her frequently. She comes to a fabulous Mission Ranch, and, uh, I, and I see her at, at her office, which is a safe way. I just love going to the market. I never had a chance to do that. You have to remember that, you see. I was always working and everything was brought to the house, delivered, and so I didn't have that chance and I really love it. done various things and, you know, thank God they've all been relatively successful and we have a good time. We're colleagues, mother, son, and uh, friends. We have a little hotel in Carmel that's a wonderful little Mediterranean building. The last time I talked to Doris, I asked her, I said, how many dogs do you have? She said, I think last count was 17. Next time you come, John, you can bring your dogs. 
I just wish I'd see her more often. You know, I'd love to see her. I just love her. I hope she's... Doris, be happy. I think the whole world is in love with Doris Day. It's a love affair that's never going to end. That's quite a legacy. I think the secret of Doris's popularity was her class and sincerity. She never had to think about it. It just flowed from her. Doris is a friend, a real friend. She made me feel so good about myself. I don't think she has a clue that she's in everybody's heart so. She was you know, the best mother I could have had. Doris was everybody's darling. I loved her and I wish I could have done 50 more pictures with her.